Jamie Oliver is a celebrity chef who used to be the owner of what was projected to be one of the most successful restaurant chains in the world. But somewhere along the way, it was reported that the culinary experts' restaurants were heading towards a downward spiral, and eventually he was forced to close down almost all of his locations. Now Oliver and the chief executive of his restaurant group are currently in the process of rebranding and relaunching the chain in an entirely new direction. But the question here is, how could a restaurant chain owned by arguably one of the best chefs in the world fail so miserably? Jamie Trevor Oliver is a UK-born chef that rose to fame thanks to his casual approach to food, which made him a smash hit on various television cooking shows. Oliver began rising to fame in 1999, and his reputation as one of the world's best chefs still remains. In 2008, Oliver decided to open up an Italian chain restaurant known as Jamie's Italian, which became a part of the Jamie Oliver Restaurant Group. The chef's chain of restaurants began to spread across the UK and eventually found its way overseas in countries like Canada, Iceland, Russia, Qatar, Australia and more. However, as they say, a good thing can't last forever. In 2019, reports began to come out that claimed that many of Jamie's restaurants were under threat, along with other high street mainstays and diners. And by May 2019, 22 out of Jamie's 25 restaurants were shut down. This ended up putting more than 1,000 workers out of their jobs, which left many to wonder how something like that could have happened. I mean, many of the workers probably thought that their jobs were fairly secure, considering they worked for one of the most famous chefs in the world, or at least a restaurant owned by one. Jamie and his creditors who helped him fund the restaurant were left at a total loss, with the firm administrators over at KPMG claiming that the debt from the restaurants would likely never be recovered. When all was said and done, there was only one of Jamie's Italian restaurants still standing, which was a massive loss for the chef. At one point in time, Jamie had 42 of his restaurants open across the UK, and then he was left with practically nothing. This puzzled many people who had enjoyed their time at the restaurant, while a few critics claimed to have seen it coming. Jamie tweeted about his restaurants, saying, I'm devastated that our much-loved UK restaurants have gone into administration. I'm deeply saddened by this outcome and would like to thank all of the people who have put their hearts and souls into this business over the years. Jamie Oliver. This wasn't the only opinion that Jamie had to share, though. When it came to why the restaurants were closing, Jamie had a very interesting reason, one that seemed very plausible. When speaking about the situation, Jamie blamed the state of the casual dining industry in the UK. Meanwhile, businesses were forced to pay outrageous rates to the government in order to stay open for business. And the creditors that helped fund his restaurant chain seemed to chime in with agreement. But it couldn't have only been the bad timing that saw an end to the restaurant chain. There had to be more to it than that. When those who worked at Oliver's restaurants and those who worked in the business in general were asked about the chef's failing chain, many of them pointed at least some of the blame towards companies like Groupon. These companies give consumers access to certain deals and promotions that not only take money away from the restaurant, but also give the restaurant a sort of false sense of security. You see, when someone sees a coupon for a restaurant, sure, it might inspire them to try out a new location, but typically it doesn't turn them into a returning customer. Restaurants are practically built off the idea of returning customers. The more people you have that frequent your business on a regular basis, the more money is guaranteed to be made. But when a customer comes in solely because they saw a coupon that made them want to give the restaurant a chance, that doesn't help the business at all. In other words, sites like Groupon are inadvertently promoting the idea of short-term diners, when realistically a restaurant owner wants customers to come back for more. But with more and more diners going into Jamie's Italian and then moving on to the next chain that had a coupon, that meant there was less and less regular income being made. Those weren't the only issues that the chef was facing with his restaurant chain though. One thing that almost everyone knows you can't fight is inflation. With the way the global economy works, prices of any products are going to fluctuate. Sometimes it's for the better, but more often than not, things get more expensive. And as the price of healthy food kept rising, Oliver was no longer able to meet the expectations that his brand was built on. Jamie always advertised his business as a family-friendly place to eat that is fuss-free and guaranteed to be healthy, and most importantly, affordable. So once the owner had to begin raising the prices of his menu items to meet the economic standards, his customers were very upset. 
This goes hand in hand with a comment made by one of Jamie Oliver's partners and the current CEO of the Jamie Oliver Restaurant Group, John Knight. According to Knight, the Italian restaurant chain had become too complacent and set in its ways, rather than trying to keep up with its competitors' evolving business methods. While Jamie was still focusing on keeping his food healthy, many other chain restaurants went toward a more affordable sales model, at the cost of quality. Soon, that was the new thing, and by the time they had decided to begin enacting any changes, it was too late. Even the smaller restaurants began to surpass Jamie's Italian restaurant in terms of success. At the end of the day, by the end of 2019, Oliver was left with only three out of his 25 restaurants, with the other 22 being closed very quickly. However, over the past few years, the chef has been able to maintain stable businesses for himself outside of the UK, including Jamie's Deli and Jamie Oliver's Pizzeria. Meanwhile, his plan for bringing back his restaurant chain to the UK is something that he claims is still in the works. According to an interview with Oliver, he said, I'm watching for now, but I'll definitely get back in the game. And during a point in time when a lot of people around the world are focusing more and more on their health, now might just be the right time. That's all for today's video, and remember, if you're interested in more videos concerning the common money mistakes made by celebrities, make sure you subscribe to our channel, and I'll see you in our next video.